Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. I know I typically say good afternoon, but I'm actually in a very good mood. Um, I know I haven't, I haven't aired in a while. I haven't been, uh, actually, I haven't actually had a chance. I've been working like eight, nine, ten hour days the last little bit. And uh, I'm continuing Perfect Dark because that's what I'm in the mood for uh, for tonight. So, anyways, <clears throat> let's catch up on our story right quick. Um, last time we went to Chicago, we snuck in, we got to the G5 building, uh, we made our way through the G5 building, we holographed some kind of meeting going on. There was uh, Cassandra Debris. Uh, and a couple of new faces, a couple of new characters. Um, and in my other video, which I may film in a little bit, we can go and see who this character is, or maybe the story will unfold, and we'll be able to find out. So, at the end of the at the end of the uh, G5 mission, Carrington contacts us, breaks radio silence, and tells us we're going to Area 51 because that craft carrying his friends was shot down. Now, right there raises a whole can of worms of questions. Who are these friends? Why Area 51? Um, he didn't say a plane, a jet, or anything like that, or a car. Because, bear in mind, this, this game is a little bit futuristic, with flying cars and whatnot. He said a craft. So, at this point, it, it kind of... And it also begs the question, if Carrington and Datadyne are weapons corporations, and they're basically... Uh, those of you that have seen the Iron Man movies, they're like Stark Enterprises, uh, but they're competitors with each other. If they are indeed just weapon companies, why the high security? Why the secret agents? Why the backdoor deals and all that? I mean, I, I get that a lot of CEOs and a lot of businesses will do practically anything to get their hands on stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of money, but it seems to be that there is more to the story, in my opinion. Um, but I mean for those of you that didn't pay attention to my first episode I have played this game before and I do know the uh, I do know how it ends but for for story purposes I'm not going to do any spoiling I'm just trying to get these questions out there so that you guys can get thinking those of you that are not familiar with the story alright so I'm sorry that it took me so long to get back to this story um, we're going to we're going to take a look at um, Area 51. Shut down air intercept radar, gain access to the hangar lift, and make contact with CI Spot. Now we know the CI is short for Carrington Institute. So there's someone that is already in the area that we have to make contact with. Alright, background. A craft carrying Institute advisors has been shot down in Nevada. Debris from the crash site and the bodies of the advisors have been taken into Area 51. A spy inside the base has managed to get footage of the to the Institute of a possible survivor. The mission is to rescue that survivor. Alright, from Carrington. This is an Institute... Uh, sorry, guys. This is a disaster for us, Joanna. We need to get our ally out of there before it becomes too late. And there was some special equipment inside the craft as well, We must, which must not remain in Trent Easton's clutches. You'll have to... You'll have some support on this mission in the form of our spy inside Area 51 who is disguised as a guard. Okay, j j just that. A craft carrying Institute advisors. So, are we talking like from another world? Uh, and, and, and any of us that are even remotely familiar with Area 51, Area 51 has always had rumors and whatnot of alien activity and stuff like that. Um, and then Carrington talks about some special equipment inside the craft. And he mentions the name Trent Easton. I wonder I wonder if Trent Easton uh, is one of the faces that we saw in, uh, in that meeting at the G5 building. Because um, remember there were the, the two new faces, the, the blonde guy in the white trench coat. And then the somewhat shorter guy in the red suit. Alright, objective one. Shut down air intercept radar. This device was capable of penetrating stealth shielding of our allies' craft so that the robot interceptors could be vectored to bring them down. If your escape is to be successful, you must destroy the radar control unit with explosives 
and it will likely be hidden underground surrounded by lots of night rings. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but finding it is probably going to be a challenge. Object 2, gain access to hangar lift. Going in through the foot entrance would be suicide. So direct your attention to the hangar lift instead. Instead, our spy reports that you need a key card to operate the lift and that a maintenance technician will be your best bet to find one. Okay. Objective 3, make contact with agent. Our agent will be dressed as a guard. It means he cannot stray too far from his posting inside the base without attracting attention, so it's up to you to find him. He is stationed in one of the two main hangar levels, which is, unfortunately, as specific as we can be. Alright, so we're down to doing more spy work. I'm curious to see who this visitor is. They talk about a survivor. They didn't mention man, woman, or anything like that, and then they, and then they said, uh... Craft Caring Institute Advisors. Let's see what's going on, guys. Okay, Joanna, take a look at this. Our operative inside Area 51 was able to get this out to us. This is your entry point, a deserted helipad on the edge of the base. The lift down to the hangars and the rendezvous point is beyond that wall. Watch out for these guards. Here's the communications antenna. Attach a comms rider bug so we can talk to you when you're inside the base. Again, watch out for hostiles. Oh my god. Here is our friend. He appears to be physically in hurt, though he hasn't regained consciousness yet. By the look of it, the surgeons are almost done with their preliminary tests and will begin dissection soon. But who was... Any questions? No. Good. Away you go to the hangar. Agent Dark, mission log, 1028 hours. Against my better judgment, I'm about to enter Area 51. So, I don't even know what to say at this point. Whoa! Didn't I? Yes, I did. I remember using these in the firing range. Let's see if that took care of it. Awesome. Let's see. Ah! Holy crap, how many of these things are there? Alright, it's right there. Sounds like I got it. And we got a new weapon, the MagSec 4. Let's see how... It's a handgun. Let's see how this thing performs, shall we? It appears to be quite accurate. And ladies and gentlemen, look at the... Hang on, let me get down behind this before I get tore up anymore. But you remember what I said about the sniper rifle, the little box on screen and the numbers at the bottom? It appears the MagSec 4 has a zoom in it. And it does. Ah! I am getting tore up. Okay, that's not working. I always have to brush these guys. I have one. Let's see if that works. Looks like I did. It's got some power to it. Let's see. Oh, 
Whoa! Getting shot at again. Took three shots. I, I don't think it's all that accurate, but look at the knockback on that. Is that a grenade? No, it's just not. Well, that was a well-placed shot. So I think that the mag set... Okay, thank goodness the thing can be destroyed with bullets. Alright, let's see. I thought I seen... Shield and a secondary mag sec. That is awesome. Um. Um. <gasps> we have a hover bike, ladies and gentlemen. Remember this thing from the Institute? Um, okay. Okay, let's see. Um, hang on, let me... He says something about a comms rider bug, but I think that's only with an increased difficulty. So we're here at the antenna. Uh, I guess that's all there is to do is that comms rider bug thingy. All right. Key card? Uh, doesn't look like it. Alright, so we'll pull this thing out. Alright. He said it's on the other side of this wall. These guys came from... Wait a minute. There's a hole in the fence there. All right. Ah, uh, but the bike won't fit. All right. Oh, no, 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 back. Oh, oh my goodness. There's mines here. Are you serious? Huh. Well, let's hang on to that just in case I need it. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is, is there like... Is there any way to indicate where mines are? I don't... Oh. Oh. I really don't want to have to go through all this again. Whew. Okay. And another shield. That is awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, the mag sec has a three round burst. I have no reason to kill. Oh my god! Don't ask me why I did that. I guess I didn't think it was active. Crap. I missed. All robot interceptors disabled. Picked up a grenade. Awesome sauce. Alright. See what's down here. 
Hold on. Carrington in the beginning did say something. Or it might have been in my briefing. Said something about it is probably hidden underground. Hmm. Nothing over here. Hmm. I wonder. Access denied. That's it. Let's give it a try. Oh, God. Uh -oh. And I found a dragon, ladies and gentlemen. You guys remember this thing from the shooting range, don't you? All right. I jet it completed. Oh god, that was epic. I really am just mean sometimes. Lift is fully operational. Is it coming back? Heard something. Alright. So I can reload this. Sweet. I hope that wasn't the uh I hope that wasn't the contact that I shot. I thought I blew up or however you say it. No, no, open! Okay. Thank goodness. So it would appear. You know, I just thought of that, ladies and gentlemen. What's gonna happen if the seat, if the, uh, -uh. And see, one thing that I do love about Perfect Dark. Uh, if they're shooting at me, obviously they're not a contact. Let's see if this is it. Now, even though I do have a dragon and magsec for and all of that. He just said, be careful with the trigger finger. So... Oh, goodness. Once again, they're shooting at me, so they're obviously hostile. You know what? Said they're shooting at me, so they're obviously, ob ob obviously hostile. That clip must have an auto feed mechanism. Agent Dark, over here. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if. <gasps> if what? If you've been discovered yet. And frankly, if this is how you work, I'm amazed that you lasted longer than five minutes. I was tidying up one of your loose ends. My loose ends? 
I'm sorry, I didn't realize you wanted him to shoot you. I can call in some more guards if you like. Okay, okay, forget about it. I'm going to let the Institute know we've made contact. Oh my god. So, apparently, Joanna and this guy go way back, so... But alright, that, that, that was... Wow, okay. So, next mission is also still in Area 51. So I'm going to continue that in this episode. Obtain, use lab technician disguise. Gain access to autopsy lab and rescue crash survivor. Okay. Hey. Craft carrying institute advisor been shot down in the bottom debris from the crash site. Bodies of the... Okay, that's the same. You need to cover our tracks and rescue our friend as fast as you can. Disguise will help you do that, but won't last forever. Make good use of it. Wipe out their records and make sure there are no more survivors we are unaware of. Time is pressing, so hurry. Objective 1. Find a lab technician outfit and use it to get past security. Once you, once you have it, move fast. It won't go unnoticed for very long. Objective 2. Gain access to autopsy lab. Premature autopsy will soon be taking place on one of the secure med medical laboratories. It will be locked to those without clearance, so get a card with the appropriate level to get in. Not all cards will work, and there may be door guards as well. Rescue crash survivor. Once you are in the lab, you have to get into the autopsy chamber before any harm comes to the subject. Scientists will try to kill him if they think he's alive, or will attempt to damage what they think is a corpse as soon as they see you. Yet again, speed is by... <sighs> the problem you have is that there is no way to sneak into the research section. The only way in available to you is a weak section of wall like marked in the room beyond the stores. It can be destroyed with explosives. Doesn't sound like a problem to me. Where are these explosives? In that crate. Cute. Very cute. By the way, the stores are crawling with guards. It may go against your nature, but try sneaking through rather than blasting everything. Certainly. Any other pearls of wisdom? That crate. Yes. It really doesn't like being shot. Right, now if I can just fight the urge to report him to base security. Okay, so I have a crate of explosives. Um, thankfully it's a hover crate and I can grab a move wherever. He did say it will be probably a, a wise idea to try sneaking rather than shooting. I'm going to leave the crate there for the time being. Well, we have to try to move fast. I hear footsteps. look around and see if there's a way for me to sneak in. I mean, old school games like this, they're kind of pre-programmed to be linear. That's what I was saying earlier. With games of this nature, it looks like... Whoa! Where'd you come from? But anyway, what I was saying earlier is that games of this, na this nature, they tend to be uh, linear. That means that you can only go one way. And, uh, well, for, for, for this game, for it being linear, it, uh, actually helps in many ways because if it, if it weren't as linear, uh, I got two more cards. Got that guy. I heard somebody. Hold up. I'm gonna wait and see if anybody shows up. So what I was saying is that with linear games, there's not a lot of brain work that goes into it. 
Uh, if you can't figure it out, just keep on going. Follow the path of most resistance. And, and you're almost... Is it just me or did that door close really, really fast? Data up... Or, I'm in an x-ray scan. This is cool as shit. And I'm sorry for those of you that I offend with my language. I didn't even go that far. Uh-uh. Open. Thank you. Alright, let's pull my crate out. I have a couple of guards there. I'm gonna set them right here. Go ahead and pop these guys. I got a dragon, so whenever shit hits the fan, I'll uh, I'll switch over to the dragon because it, at that point I won't care if they know I'm there or not. Right. Stick it in that corner. Whoa! Weak spot in the wall that I marked that can be destroyed with explosives. That's what Jonathan said. So, whoop, just got it. <laughs> All right, let me see about going back. Yes, I know. I just dropped an entire clip. To kill him. Which doesn't say very much about my marksmanship. Are you serious? Okay, so... I have a question. Uh, whenever I set these explosives off, is it sneaking gonna kinda go out the window? Alright, let's set this right there. Whoa, hold on, let's move it around. Right there. Hey, work. Three-minute timer at the bottom. What do we have here? Shield. Light control systems. This door is locked. Following the path of... Whoa! I thought I shot you, dude. Who the hell are you? Leave this area now! Shut up. Alright, alright, alright. It's a spy! Imposter! I didn't even 
mean to kill those guys, but... Alright, that door's locked. This door's locked. Um... Guess I went the wrong way, then. I mean, there has to be some reason it's here. Oh, boy, I got a minute and 20 seconds. And those of you that are wondering, look at the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lab close. Alright. Most technicians... Let me switch over to this arm. Yeah, it's heavily recycled around here. Must be near the autopsy lab. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hey. Okay. So, you got here at last. Everyone's been waiting for you. Hey, that's not Harry. It's an intruder. Wow. That was so dirty of me. Super Dragon. You see what's so stupid? Is that two magazines? So I still have not found the survivor. Whoa, whoa, I bypassed all these guys? Really? Got two magazines for a reason. Let's see what secondary fire is. <gasps> Grenade launcher. I like it. Ha <laughs> I like it. Alright, so it's not that way. Ooh. Okay. sound like bullets. Tranquilizer. Uh, no. I want something with some firepower behind it. There he is, Operation Room Keep Guard. Let's see what we got. up and step away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor, and turn that laser off. Wow, so that was actually pretty intense, I think. Oh. Um, snuck in and a lot a lot of the, the, the game's glitches with the sneaking and all that has to do with the game's age. Guys, come on, cut cut these guys a little bit of slack. This game was made in like 1998, 1999. Um, maybe in the neighborhood of 2000. Uh, so, I mean, kind of a little bit slack, guys. I mean, no, it's not going to be like Oblivion or Fallout or any of the other games where you're sneaking around. It's not going to be... This is before Splinter Cell even came out. So, let's cut them a little slack on the whole sneaking game because the sneaking was very... Uh, the sneaking part of it was actually kind of awkward. Uh, the game's built to be a shooter. But, we made it through unscathed. Took a couple of shots here and there. Uh, but the shield took the blunt of most of the damage done at Atlanta. We rescued the survive- which, which... It's an alien! It's an alien! It's a stinking bobble-headed, gray-skinned alien! Next mission, A51, escape. Rendezvous with CI spy, locate secret hangar, and escape. 
from Area 51. Um, Crab carrying his two advisors. We already know that. Carrington. I know you have questions, Joe, and I'm afraid this isn't the time to answer them. I can tell you that the little fellow you just rescued is a Mayan man? And he is bodyguard to the ambassador whose ship was shot down. Other details and background can wait till later. Objective 1. Rendezvous with Agent Jonathan reports he is now under suspicion and expects to be arrested in a matter of minutes. Find him before patrols do. Gain entry to secret hangar. Our agent has been unable to get into the secret hangar before because that would have meant blowing his cover, but the time for such worries has now passed. Keep the guards off Jonathan as he hacks into the door to the hangar where we suspect an intact Mayan ship is kept. Objective 3, escape from Area 51. That is, get the Mayan bodyguard to the ship fast. Then you and Jonathan get aboard the craft with him. And you should be able to fly out, fly out past the air defenses you took care of earlier. Alright, let's do it. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is supposed to be a sealed room. Don't you know anything about autopsy procedures? I don't care much for procedures. Director Easton will hear about this young lady. You can't take that! It's government property! This is intolerable. It's, it's unprofessional. Let's see how that overconfident thief deals with our gas defense system. She'll think twice before messing with me again. What's that noise? Can't be. Gas! No! That wasn't meant to happen! Better get out of here. All right, hit the ground running. Joanna, this is Jonathan. You're in grave danger. They flooded the area with nerve gas. Get a friend to the containment lab. There's a hiding place there. Mm. Sorry, starting to hurt me. You when you get there. Good luck. Get on out of sea. Um. 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 Whoa! Let's get out here. Uh. So I can. Okay. Door's automatic. Good work, Joe. We need to meet up. They're getting suspicious of me. Use the maintenance hatch I built in one of the containment labs. Hurry! I found One of the containment labs. Time to so. hook up with Jonathan. Before he gets into any more trouble. So I'm guessing it will be. I I don't. Is it? Well, there were two of them. Let's see what the other side looks like. Huh. What we have here. And once again, one of the great, great, great things, in my opinion. One of the great things, in my opinion, is uh, the fact this game is linear. That smell. Oil. I smelt that in the other hangars. Oil. Joanna, over here. We need to get back to our friend. All right. Need to get back to our friend. Let's go. There's someone here. <laughs> Damn. No hesitation whatsoever. Cover you? Uh, 
Um. Dude, what? Oil. Oh shit, he's about to blow this joint. Um. Super Dragon. I didn't think I just pulled it. Which in, in 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 games like this, sometimes you have to be like. Alright, so I'm, I'm guessing go through. Oh, that's a lot of blowing holes. Oh, Ah, oh, will you look at there? I see a computer console. Another computer. Jonathan, where the hell did you go? Hmm. Alright, let's check down here. Is this a door? Look at there. Institute, aren't you? I recognize you from before. You helped me. Thank you. You... you speak our language? Watch her, she's sharp. <sighs> What's wrong? I have a headache. And with a head this big, that's no joke. Can you walk? We must leave before they get organized and hunt us down. I think so. What's your name? I'm Agent Dark, or Joanna, if you'd prefer. Well, Joanna, I'm Protector One, but you can call me Elvis. <laughs> so even in the midst of this this situation, there's still a few laughs. going guys all right following these two I think. come on Elvis but in the midst of all this we still have a few laughs oh no we have a problem it's a signal seeker two can get in but no more the only way out of here plus it's got no style you know what I'm saying? You're the only one who can fly to Elvis, so get in! One of us will have to stay behind and open the hangar doors. But we can't leave you behind. There must be a way out of here. I'll get out on that hover bike. Now cover me while I open the doors. Alright. Hold up, hold up. Somebody shoot me. Right. Go down here and cover me. Alright, I see Jonathan. was one hell of an escape. Next mission, airbase. Okay, I'm going to decline that because that's a new mission. So ladies and gentlemen, let's review right quick. Um, our visitors are alien. And Elvis made the comment, said, I thought I'd be chopped up like the others. So he is not the only one. And the, the mission briefing did say there was more than one in the craft. Um, Which, I mean, that's another game glitch. If the craft was carrying more than one, 
how is it that it was a single seater? Unless, I mean, unless there's more than one craft, that's the only way I can think of. But it's aliens. Uh, and Carrington said it was the ambassador? Uh, I mean, there's so many questions there, ladies and gentlemen. And, and at this point, we're just like... Personally, I'm blown away because we're talking about alien contact. That takes this game to that, that takes the story to a whole new level, and it makes a little bit more sense to why Carrington is wants to get involved. Because I mean, who doesn't want to get their hands on alien hardware? That would be like the leader in uh, that would be like the leader in the weapons market, right? Alien tech, laser guns, crap like that. But. He called himself Protector One. What is he protecting? I mean, and they said ambassador. Ambassador for what? So are we going to see more of these guys as the game goes on? Uh, and, 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 and the fact that... And I'm still completely blown away by the fact that he mentioned others by now. Chopped up like the others. So apparently, either A, this has been going on for a very long time, or B, there were more than just him. And the, the mission briefing even said there was more than just him. But we had to leave Jonathan behind, and that was just like... That was like, wow. I hope Jonathan made it out okay, I mean... But he's, he said that he was good on the hover bike, so... Um, so, yeah, I mean, that... that there's that much of the story broken into Area 51. We got to the containment labs, rescued Elvis, beat the nerve gas, beat the guards. Um, we probably have some new guns to take to the shooting range. On my next, in, on my next information video on this game, we're gonna check out the new faces. We're going to to see who is who. Uh, read a little bit more background on this. So, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this hit that thumbs up let me know i'm doing a good job uh if you see something that i missed or something you would like to add to my comments that's what the comment section is for if you come up with a game that you would like to see but i have not showcased yet hit that comment section let me know about it and i will showcase it to the best of my ability if i don't have it i can get it um but Thank you so much for tuning into this. I, I know I don't have very many followers, very many people that watch these videos. I, I don't know if I'm boring or what it is. Or, or maybe if I'm just not out there yet. But ladies and gentlemen, those of you that do tune in and watch, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, if you if this is your first time watching, go back and view the previous episodes because this, this is really building up to be a great story. And if you want to see more episodes, hit that subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on. We can go from there. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, for more on this story, to see what's going to happen to Joanna, what what happened to Jonathan, uh, will we find out what happened to Jonathan, if he made it out okay? What about Elvis? What about the, the, the Mayans, Mayans, however you pronounce it? So tune in next time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's see. Joanna is obviously our hero. Let's see where our adventures take our hero in the next episode. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I am Christopher Lamar.